Good morning students. Today we are going to new part and new lesson series. Class 6. Lesson number 1. Understanding diversity. What is diversity? What is civics? What is the other name of civics? Civics means Nagarika Shastra. Civics means Nagarika Shastra. What is the means of civics? The study of citizenship. Okay, what is the other name of civics? The political science. What is the other name of civics? The political science. What is means of civics? Nagarika Shastra. Okay, today I am talking about civics. Understanding diversity. Diversity, and I have already mentioned that, already given the answer. What is civics? The study of citizenship. Other means that we find everything around us. That is means known as diversity. Okay. Next, next we are going to other part. Who is the father of civics? Who is the father of civics? Mr. Benjamin Franklin was the father of civics. Dear student, did you understand? Who was the father of civics? What is the other name of civics? The other name of civics is political science. Now we are Shastra. Okay then. Let's. Who is the father of civics? The Mr. Benjamin Franklin or Ben Franklin is known as father of civics. Understood? Let's think of that diversity. See, look, look. You can see diversity that equality or state are being varied. Rather means we find everything around us. That is means known as diversity. Look at the test book. Today teaching about civics. People from different regions in India Celebrate different festivals. Already you know that we have celebrated a lot of festivals are celebrated each and every month also. Example for Diwali, Christmas, Eid, Raksha Bandhan, lot of festivals. India, our country also celebrated a lot of festivals. Which are diverse. Diversity is seen not only in religious festival. Already I mentioned that diversity is not only religious festival but people also aspect the festival of home and life some difference are evident here diversity in languages diversity in languages the eighth schedule of the indian constitution apana samvidhan mein apana varna apana samvidhan mein they are eight constitution eight Schedule of the Indian Constitution, Samhita, as per the Article 351, like that, Article 361 to 351, Article Schedule, the 8th Constitution recognized, Mana Jata hai, 22 languages. Already you know that. What is the recognized language for an Indian our constitutions? Example for that, Marathi, Gujarati, Panjabi, Malayalam, Tamil, and Konkani, Dogri, Kashmiri, etc. There are a lot of and languages are our constitution recognizes. Each state has its own official language. Already you know that our language, Hindi is our national language. English official language for purpose of union and for the transaction of business in the parliament. Hindi our national language. Hindi our Rashtra Bhasha hai other than English official language. Already I mentioned mentioned the what is the recognized 22 language there are 22 recognized language our constitution. The languages are Kongani and Tamil Marathi, etc. Out of 22 language against the constitutions. 
okay next you know that there are several languages spoken in our country more than 800 languages spoken in our country there are several languages spoken in our country a lot of 800 800 languages spoken in our country more than more than more than 2000 more than 2000 dialects of bhasha we have understood but this is not mentioned in your textbook i explain some about of civics more than 800 languages spoken in our country that are 2000 dialects of bhasha we have bola jata hai boli bhasha understood this we go start with diversity in food first of all each state of india is known as for its cuisine cuisine means bhojan every state is there there are 28 prominent state of our country each state india is known as for cuisine bhojan har har desh mein alag alag state mein bhojan ko matlab famous hai example for vast around the locally available resources for example west bengal specializes in dishes made up of fish and fish and kerala fish and kerala also fish and rice rice with rice with the fish and west bengal has famous dish for rice and fish fish and rice and coconut chutney is is very famous for the state of kerala and other than fish okay next we are going to study diversity in celebrity festivals a number of festivals are celebrated in india already i mentioned that already i gave you some example for that diwali uh, christmas eid etc here a number of festivals are celebrated in india by people belonging to different states example onam is celebrated the mainly in the state of kerala the onam is harvest festival but kerala also celebrate uh, celebrate the festival of christmas eid and uh, etc and onam is harvest festival of kerala and you are rajasthan also celebrated and diwali rakshabandhan eid etc etc how many this is culture and religions the festivals are celebrated in harmony and thus fits different background to people who belong to for example for that most people enjoy eating christmas cake the people of christian celebrate the celebrate the xmas in the month of 25th december every year okay most of the people celebrate the christmas that time people also they eat christmas cake relish the sevai sevai is prepared of the, the people of muslim that the main occasion for that occasionally eid ul fitr bakrid during the festival of eid irrespective of their religion and background next we are going to study diversity in religions some of the major religions of the world hinduism sikhism jainism christianism and buddhism and muslims etc as always in india almost all major religions of the world are practiced here india is a secular country india is a secular india is a secular country india is a secular country where all the religions are treated equally and citizens have the right and the freedom practice any religion of their choice diversity okay what do you mean by secular country you can see a country in which all religions enjoy equal respect sara religions apan kya karna mana mana hai see a country in which all religions already already i mentioned that religions what's the religions uh, example four religions are uh, always in india buddhism jainism christians muslims uh, etc the all religions in enjoy equal respect or status okay every religion has a particular particular place of worship every religion has a particular place of worship 
prayer has followers that religion of the prayers another religion is not allowed to take up like a prayer for the example for that the people of christian go to the go to go to the prayer for the church the muslims pray to the place name is mosque and the hindu also pray for the places of ch- uh, temples it's so many that for example in hindus offer prayer in temples muslim in mosque christian in churches sikh gurudwaras famous place of worship india home to numerous famous places of worship so so india is called secular state why is india was secular economy in which all religions enjoy equal respect or status understood that is india is called secular state because of because of so many and religion of the prayers for example hindus also pray prayer for temples christians prayer for churches sikh gurudwara and so on this this sites not only symbolizes the religious and the cultural diversity of our country but also add to the architectural diversity of the country some religious places are there so many religious places are famous for in our country the historical places are uh, are here in our country example for the ajmer sharif thara in rajasthan and the golden temple in punjab are example of such places is it two three examples there uh, but lot of lot of examples examples are there okay dear students you are the first your first video is completed next video i will come back okay first all the national diversity the equally or state of being valid other means you can find it uh, you can find it around the that is at a diversity what is equal state a country is in which all regions enjoy equal respect Star Wars status. Okay, the first video is completed. Thank you.